Let's take a look at graphing circles given the center and the radius. And uh, I got this problem. Center is 2, 3, and radius is 4. Well, uh, go to your y equals in your calculator. Make sure you don't have anything here. So if you have anything on y1 or y2, press clear. You know, clear those out. And those will be gone. Second mode to exit out. We won't go in the draw menu. So do second, program. And um, if I scroll down, see there's an arrow here, here meaning there's more down below. Get down to circle. And then we're going to put in our, our center first. So I do 2, comma, 3, and then comma, our radius, which is 4. Closing parentheses, and then enter. And you see your center is 2, 3, which is right here. And it goes out of radius of 4. So I'd give you a circle. How useful is this in, a, in a college algebra? Uh, not very useful. Um, it's a lot harder to type that in your calculator than it is just do it by hand. But if you're trying to then compare that, you got like a line y is equal to 3x minus 1. If you do a graph. And you're trying to get a visual of the uh, points of intersection. Well, then it might be useful. Um, unfortunately, you cannot use the intersect method on the calculator with uh, something you used in draw mode. So that's a that's a flaw with it. Now, if you want to clear that circle out, you don't want it there anymore. You do second mode exit out. If we go into our draw menu again, I do second program. See the first one says clear draw. So I do enter on that and enter again. And now, if I go to graph, all I see is my line. That's a uh, graphing circles on a T84 uh, plus calculator.